When you walk into a typical meat factory, it sounds like this. But a growing number of meat factories around the world, it sounds like this. When you walk into a typical meat factory, it looks like this. But more and more, it's starting to look like this. See, when you cultivate meat, it changes sonically, visually, olfactorily, even emotionally. The environment here and elsewhere too. It changes what you need to make the meat without changing what ends up on your plate. You don't need billions of animals and all the resources necessary to feed them. You just need a cell. And from that one cell, you can make billions of pounds of meat. And that enables rainforest to be just rainforest, naturally pulling in carbon from our atmosphere, as opposed to being converted to fuel to feed for the tens of billions of animals we eat. It enables animals to just be animals. And in our own communities, it keeps us a little safer from diseases that have a tendency to just shut the whole world down. It allows us to be a little more secure in our own food supply, no matter what else is happening out there. And maybe most importantly, it means that we can enjoy beef and chicken and other kinds of meat all the same, and the same dishes we're used to with our friends and our family that taste exactly as they always have. It lets us enjoy real meat without the real issues in a way that reflects that human health and planet health and animal health are all intertwined. See, there's not a natural world in our human world. There's just a world. And this approach to making meat is much more than an idea. In November 2020, Singapore became the first country in the world to approve its sale. Because Singapore realizes that in this warming, more food insecure world, we need transformative, not typical. And on December 20th, 2020, Jack and Verdeep and three of their classmates were the first historic customers. And they were followed by customers at fancy restaurants and street vendors and deliveries across the island. And a few months ago, we broke ground on the largest cultivated meat facility in Asia. Once completed, it'll house a 6,000 liter stainless steel vessel that enables cells to become pounds of meat. You'll see people across different disciplines, food scientists and biochemists and process engineers, all working hard every single day to make this happen. Each meat factory will make a good amount of meat and will allow us some time to build even larger vessels that will eventually make tens of millions of pounds and billions of pounds of meat. Meat without the need to slaughter a single animal, meat without the need to tear down a single tree or use a single drop of antibiotics. The United Nations Panel on Climate Change called this way of making meat a transformative approach to solving climate change. And here tonight, together at COP27, we're excited to invite you to give it a try. <laughs>